Say it with me. The most stylish people re-wear their clothes. Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're going over things that I think make someone instantly stylish. As usual, I'm just giving my unsolicited opinions and just take them with a grain of salt. But I did make a list of things that I think elevate someone's style. Before we get into more of the materialistic things or the stylized things that I think make someone instantly stylish, I wanna talk about the number one most important thing, which is gonna be confidence. As the saying goes, confidence is key. And it's honestly so true, especially when it comes to your personal style. I've even seen TikTok videos of people kind of testing this theory out, walking down a busy street with a zero confidence in a very cute outfit, and then have that same person walk down that same busy street in the same outfit and everything just walking with confidence looking up shoulders back honestly the outfit becomes instantly cuter just because of how that person is carrying themselves so that's why i wanted that to be number one because no matter how many things i tell you this is what i think makes someone stylish i think this piece can elevate an outfit like it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day if you're confident in what you're wearing you're going to look good i made a pumpkin latte my favorite almond milk came out with a pumpkin version of their almond milk and it's so good. Topped with some cinnamon sugar sprinkles. Fall is here. Right, let's get into accessories. I love accessories. Honestly, like at the end of the day, I think accessories are a huge part of someone having good style or looking like they have good style. But it really goes beyond rings, earrings, necklaces, bracelets. There's so much more you can do to accessorize that I think a lot of people don't utilize, myself included. One of the things that I was thinking about is hairpins. I'm just gonna throw up some photos for referencing some of these things. But I love seeing hair accessories in general. When I was younger, I knew a lot of people that would use like a chopstick or just like, a, it's probably like made for your hair, but like a stick in your hair to put do your hair up in like a french twist type of thing and i just i love everything about it especially the recent photos i've been seeing on pinterest your outfit can be so simple and if your hair is done and has these added accessories it just looks so good i love it another accessory that i think can really elevate your style is scarves scarves are also obviously very practical when it comes to winter but i'm not really talking about winter scarves i'm talking more about like a, a silk scarf like tying it around your neck or putting it up in your hair I personally have tried to do this and for some reason, I just feel like it doesn't look right on me. The only time I've been able to like myself in a headscarf is when I wore it, kind of like how Hailey Bieber did in, when she went to some concert. I liked it when I wore it like that, but I haven't been able to style it on myself otherwise, but I've seen a lot of photos of other people with headscarves and I think it's really cute. I also love tying a scarf around your neck with a trench coat or with a sweater. It just really adds something to an outfit that just elevates the whole look. So we touched on accessories in your hair, but another thing that I think can really elevate your style is just doing your hair in more unique ways than just curled or up or down. This can be different textures, different types of braiding. I've just seen a lot of different photos especially on pinterest recently of people braiding their hair in really cool and different ways i think that you could have on the most simple outfit your outfit really wouldn't matter but if your hair is done in a unique way like this it really does make you look stylish like you are the coolest person out there i even challenge like i'm challenging myself even though i have short hair i feel like there's so much you can do with your hair regardless of the length and regardless of texture there's just so many different hairstyles out there yes you might have to like dig for them a little bit but there's just so much you can do and if you have the time to kind of sit and experiment it would be really fun to figure out what type of styles you like on yourself and try them out so speaking of hairstyles i also think that getting a haircut in a really unique way is a way that makes someone look instantly stylish i just watched emma chamberlain's recent video where she was kind of talking about her hair journey and how she was feeling after a long time of growing her hair out eventually she actually just felt bored with it i can relate to this because i've always had very long brown hair i mean not super long but long way longer than this something about it just always felt boring and every time I, my hair starts to grow out it's like i should just let it grow out i haven't done that in a while and then i'm like no i'm bored i need more so like i am not super adventurous especially when it comes to my hair getting it cut short for me like is the most unique that I've, that i've done but i love seeing the hairstyles that are just like way out there and in emma's video she got one that was pretty unique and a lot of the hairstyles that she also showed in her video that she was considering i was in love with there was one in particular i love it so much and i know that like a lot of these you kind of have to go and talk to someone and make sure that they would align with your face shape but there's really something to be said about having a hairstyle that is just perfect for you and is not like anyone else's am i gonna go cut my hair like that 
Probably not because I am not sure that I have the right confidence at this point in my life to do something like that. But when I do, maybe, who knows? Next is gonna be shopping outside of trends. Now, I love trends. I, I think that they can be very toxic, but I also just love overanalyzing and figuring out what's gonna be coming up next and why is it coming up next and kind of where did it come from? And I think that's super fun. However, I think that someone who is truly stylish doesn't really pay that much attention to trends. Maybe they'll participate in one here or there. They're gonna have pieces that are truly for their personality and they're gonna be unique. Unique to them, unique in general. Maybe they shop vintage and just not following the trends. I think it's super fun to participate in trends. I do it. Doing it in a way that is still true to you is what's gonna make you the most stylish while still being able to participate in those trends. Say it with me. The most stylish people rewear their clothes. One more time. The most stylish people rewear their clothes. Having a constant rotating wardrobe, especially when you're buying things brand new, is not sustainable. The most stylish people rewear their clothes. They have their statement pieces. They have their trench coat that they wear in the wintertime and you see it often on them. They have their statement pair of jeans that really go with everything, so they wear them with everything. And yes, they have unique pieces that they buy brand new here and there, but the most stylish people re-wear their clothes. It is so common for us these days to see influencers or see celebrities that just have a constant rotating wardrobe. And the reality of it is, maybe some of them are buying them new, but a lot of people rent their clothes and that's why you see these constant rotations. That's just not reality. We need to rewear our clothes. It's okay to outfit repeat. You also don't need to reinvent the wheel every time you wear your favorite red sweater. You can re-wear the same outfit you wore two weeks ago. It's okay, no one's judging you. Your outfit was cute, re-wear it. It's okay to outfit repeat. Stylish people outfit repeat. They do, they do. Oh my God, one of my favorite things that I think makes someone instantly stylish is if you wear glasses, having a unique pair of daily glasses. I personally, these are my, my seeing glasses. Very simple, very just, I got black frames. I think I made a safe choice. However, I think that when someone picks a unique pair of everyday glasses, that's so cool. They are, they're cool people. There's a girl on TikTok that I follow. Oh my God, what is her name? I don't know, I don't remember. I'll put her TikTok here. This is her TikTok. Her whole platform is like her saying our shower thoughts. She gets deep on there, but she basically just like eats her breakfast and talks about life. She got these little glasses from Warby Parker. And every time I see these glasses now, even on someone else, I think of her because those are so uniquely her now. And having a unique pair of glasses, especially seeing glasses like that, they become you. They become your signature. If you have to wear glasses every day, maybe you get a simple pair of black frames and then go buy some red ones or something. And I plan to get a pair of more quirky glasses. Once you start putting prescription in glasses, they kind of get expensive. Something that I love about just style in general is that if you are struggling with figuring out what to wear and you want to look stylish, you're having a tough time, you know, you can always go the monochromatic look and you will always look stylish. And obviously that's kind of easy to do with like an all black look or whatever. My favorite is, a, I've, I've talked about this before, but my favorite is a Canadian tuxedo. I think Canadian tuxedos are so much fun. They look elevated. They, they're great. And you can do them in so many different ways. I also love just like two piece sets in general. And I think that they're really safe. You can't go wrong with them because that's how they were designed to look together. You can find those for a decent price in the thrift store and it's kind of a safe option to have in your closet if you're ever like struggling to find an outfit. Putting those pieces on can really help you like instantly elevate your look. Sunglasses, I've been loving like 70s sunglasses. Unique sunglasses in general kind of really elevate someone's style or honestly just, okay, scratch that. Honestly, just sunglasses in general elevate anyone's style. You could have on a big chunky pair, a slim pair. I just wanna make sure I go through everything that I had written down because otherwise I'll be editing and be like, oh, I forgot to talk about this. Statement belts. I don't really need to say much about this. Picking a more extravagant belt or a thicker belt, in my opinion, will elevate your style over picking the obvious choice of a belt, which would be like a black or brown belt, just simple. Having a belt with some character. I've also seen the Kate studded belts. I think those are really cool. I do think that they're kind of, they could maybe just be like a trend. 
And then the last thing that I have is interesting shapes. And I wrote down like, think Emily in Paris, but maybe like toned down a little bit. Think of like more like Camille in Emily in Paris. Big shoulder pads, a cinched waist. A lot of people didn't like what they were wearing for the ski scene, but I thought it was kind of cute. Like how they had like their hair hidden and they had like big hats on. If I saw a person on a mountain wearing that, I'd be like, they're the coolest person ever. Some people might be like, they look ridiculous, but I'd be like, they're cool, they're hot, they're awesome. So I don't know, interesting shapes, in my opinion, will always elevate a style. Again, at the end of the day, you have the best style if you are confident in whatever you're wearing, period. That's it. Take everything I said with a grain of salt. If you want to take any of this as like advice, that's cool. But at the end of the day, just be confident and be true to you and you will look stylish just being you. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want, I'm on TikTok and Instagram. You can go say hi to me on there and I will see you guys next time. Bye.